Hello, this is a video response to Rhonda Nelgegrim's video on axes and throwing them. Specifically, what Thrond said about how he has the beard on his axe turned. Now, I showed a friend that video, and later that day, I also showed him a letter opener that I have. That would be this one right here. You can see how it's upturned right there. And in a rather beat book I have called Styles of Ornament by Alexander Speltz, on page 80, plate 38, we see two Roman fascus. One has a rather symmetrical blade, but it has a little bit of a scoop, and that scoop is pointed up. The other one has a blade that sort of has more of a drop down than a beard, but again, that's pointed up. If we look at the description of plate 38, we can see that these are both depictions taken directly from places in Rome on some of their older buildings. Uh, for figure two, which would be that one right there, we're looking at a boss relief in the Massimi Palace in Rome. And then at figure for figure four, we're looking at another boss relief in the Capitol. On page 84, plate 41, figure two, we see a copper Roman axe. This again has the majority of the blade sticking up past the handle. Now outside the theater of Marcellus, we see an example of three fasces that all have the axe with the, I guess in this case, we'll just call it a beard, turned up. Now while this isn't specifically referring to Northern European cultures, Romans did depict a lot of their life in stone and they have better preserved artifacts generally I think this fairly shows that ancient peoples, at least certain cultures at certain times, did have a concept of putting an axe head on the way you prefer and saw some benefit in it. Who's to say that the Roman version of an upturned part on an axe like that didn't influence Germanic and Northern European tribes and didn't carry on into the Viking era much later? Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and let me know what you think. Bye.